Hey guys and welcome to this brand new episode on RxJS. Today we are going to discuss the retry operator. Let me just take you to the Chrome so that we can see how our screen looks like. So this is a simple text area and a label. We are going to leverage this text area to display the output of the retry operator. I'll just go back to the Visual Studio code. Now inside Visual Studio code, we are leveraging our existing Angular project. And I created a component called as a basic component. Inside this component, we have a method called as create retry observable. So let's go ahead and create our very first observable using interval. So I'll declare a variable called as source and I will assign a value as interval. And to this, I'm going to pass 200 as a value. So after every 200 milliseconds, we are going to receive a value. Let's go ahead and subscribe to this value so that we can display it inside our text area. And this time I'm going to say this dot input dot native element dot value plus is equal to let's just assign this value. Also add a new line character so that it gets displayed on a new line. Let's just save it. And inside Chrome, you will see that the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is the value which is getting appended inside our text area. That's the usual behavior of interval. Now let's make this thing interesting we're just going to use a pipe function and what i'm going to do is that i'm going to throw an error if the value becomes more than two so in that case i'm using merge map and inside this merge map i'm going to add a condition if the value is greater than two then in that case we are going to throw an error so return throw error let's add some meaningful message the value is more than two if everything is proper then in that case we are just going to return the value and this time if i'll save it you will see that 0 1 2 is getting printed but after that the observable stops there is no value that is getting appended to our text area what's the reason yes you guessed it right because we have thrown the error the observable just stops over there now let's assume that we want to retry this operation if in case if there is an error what we can do that is where the retry operator comes into a picture let's add retry and we want to retry this operation at least twice or exactly twice rather if we just go back you will see that the 0 1 2 is getting printed and the moment there is an error it is actually repeating the whole process again but this time it is happening only twice after that the observable just stops and there is no more value that is getting appended so that is the core functionality of the retry operator. It comes into a picture only when there is an error with the source observable or your pipe operations. Now you might have a question that where is this retry operator is actually useful. Now imagine a scenario wherein you are invoking an HTTP URL and then that HTTP URL fails with some error. Now instead of forcing the user to press the button or perform certain actions, you might want to handle that particular scenario from your framework itself. You guessed it right. That's where exactly you will be using the retry when function. I'll show you a concrete example of retry when with a fantastic strategy in the next video. Till then, take care and build something.